So what I want to do now real quick is I want to bring up a guy that literally took this right here, what I just, what, this little uh, thing right here, and applied it out of the gate, okay? No question he is the coolest guy in this room, 100%, okay? And I've watched a guy that I, I mean, I, I literally get up every day thinking that this, you know, thanking everybody that this guy is on my team because he is so awesome. So I want to bring up Mr. Paul Payton. The coolest guy in the room. That's I'll tell you one thing, they got my color right this time, okay? This is cool stuff right here. All right, now I was, I was asked to come up kind of last minute, so I brought me a cheat sheet because I don't have uh, the PowerPoint thing going on. Now, this brings back a lot of memories holding this mic because uh, the last time I held a microphone was about 21 years ago. And I was sitting behind a 15-piece set of drums on the Sunset Strip playing the Roxy and the Whiskey and Gazaris. And, uh, you know, I was a drummer, still am a drummer. But I played semi-professionally for 12 years and didn't make a nickel. Okay, that's, that's a lot of work put out to not get anything back. Now, I, got a, I had the lifestyle of a rock star. It was a ball. But I didn't make anything. So I'm standing here today because of, of Brian and Roger and Shad, and I'm going to change that. Now, don't you turn on me. Okay, so look. I'm 52 years old. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And, and music was the love of my life. Before I knew what money was, before I knew what women was, it was music. And, and even though I tried for 12 years semi-professionally to make a living, it didn't happen. So what did I do? I fell back on what I knew, which is construction. So I'm a general contractor. I work for one of the largest firms in Los Angeles. The houses we build are 20,000 to 50,000 square feet. I'm at the top of my game. I'm making the most money I've ever made, but I'll never make any more. So if my boss quits tomorrow, I'm out of a job. If I fall off the roof, I'm out of a job. If a young kid comes up behind me and does it faster and better than me, I'm out of a job. So Roger Staben came to me and said, Paul, I got an exit strategy for you. I said, Roger, I'm not you. This isn't for me. My brother was in Amway. My sister was in Noni Juice. I want nothing to do with anything that has legs unless it's a woman. <laughs> Roger show up to my job site in November and they bring Shad Sharp. All right, now, first of all, Roger tried to get me involved a year ago and I said no. So I, I just lost seven months. So three months ago, I get into this business. All right, Shad Sharp walks in. I explain about myself. He's looking at me like, oh my God, I haven't, you know, who is this guy? And I said, look, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I was born and raised there. I've been out here since 1986. I want to take this home, but I want to do it when I'm legit. So I think six to nine months from now, I'll be pretty legit, let's go home. He goes, paycheck, in six to nine months, you just lost that much residual income. We're going home in six to nine weeks. That's what I needed to hear. So two weeks ago, we were in Memphis. Now we land in Memphis, okay? It's my town. Shad shows up. Paul, I want to go to Graceland, I want to see Elvis. I'm like, Elvis, look, I grew up two miles from his house. I met him twice. It's no big deal. I, I tell you what, I'll, t I'll take you to meet Elvis. All right, I want to meet the star ambassador, Matt Morrow. That's who I want to meet. <laughs> so we did the Elvis thing. 
We had a ball. We went to my favorite cemetery. I love hanging out in southern cemeteries. They're, they're just bad to the bone. We ate barbecue. We went down on Beale Street. It was great. So our meeting was on Thursday. And we had a one-on-one -on -one, uh, before that meeting because there was a gentleman who showed me great interest, but he couldn't make the meeting. So Brian and I go to this guy's mom's apartment. <laughs> we show up and, you know, we give him our best. And he looks right at us. Man, i got to get this quote. Okay, now I don't even need to read it anymore. It was so stupid. <laughs> I'm not interested in changing my diet. I don't want to ever take vitamins. And I don't need to make any more money. <laughs> now, what the hell do you say to that? <laughs> I, I didn't even know you. Know. So Brian and I politely get up and we excuse ourselves. We walk outside. Brian looks at me and says, Paul, Jesus, please tell me this isn't what we're up against. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Brian, I need a shot of Jack Daniels, and I need you now. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we hit Memphis. Right before we went, I've never been on Facebook in my life, ever. So a friend of mine in Memphis helps me navigate through Facebook. I get on it. I develop 100 friends in 30 days. I only know three of them, but I got 100 <laughs> friends. Okay, 28 people committed, 20 people showed up, and 11 people signed up when we were in Memphis. <laughs> So I land back in LA the next day. Before I know it, I'm on the phone with Matt Morrow doing a conference call with uh, across America, you know, telling my story in Memphis. And then within 24 hours, we're all flying on a plane to Phoenix, and I get to watch the Lakers get their ass kicked. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. We're sitting in the skybox, we're down on the floor. It was the best time. I'm sitting in this box. There's three, four hundred people, and I'm just so proud to be part of a group of motivated entrepreneurs that, that are involved with something that I think is, is just off the chain. I have never felt so excited in my life and at 52 years old, since my son Tyler Rush, who's here tonight, since the day he was born, I haven't had that type of euphoric feeling. And my son's joined this company with me, and we couldn't be happier. We're going to take it to the moon. I'm very proud to be with all of you guys. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. How bummed are you guys that he's on my team? <laughs> Seriously. Everybody go out and find a Paul Paycheck tomorrow. I don't even care if I make money or get healthy. I'm entertained 24-7. Okay. But, you know what? That encompasses what Paul just came up here and how he makes me feel every time I'm hanging around him encompasses what this whole business is about, okay? Is it about making money? Is it about getting healthy? Absolutely. We have a little send out that says, get healthy and get wealthy, okay? But the truth is, we're just all wanting to live a better life, okay? And that's what this thing is truly about. Developing relationships with guys like Paul that literally, I am so excited to get out of bed every single morning.